Alright, good morning. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. I'm okay. Um, got, hang on. I got um, 233 days, no boost. Yeah, on me. Let's do this. Okay, so we're one under. Okay. Hey, Ma. <laughs> one under. Two hundred thirty-three days. No boo. No, sorry. Hang on. Let me do this right. Ow, I burned my damn freaking tongue. See, that's why I suck air with it. Yeah, there's that's going to be air sucking. That's it. We're sucking air, people. And we're going to be uh, no manners. Yes. Pull my finger. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, turns out I did lock. My e-bike, when it comes to my e-bike, I did lock the back wheel to the frame, which is how I locked it, because I really honestly didn't think someone would drag that bike off out of here. I really did not, because that was not a very light bike. It's pretty heavy, so the the creeper, piece of crap loser, dragged that bike all the way out of here, okay, with the back wheel locked up, and you can't ride it, okay? So that's how bad this dude wanted that thing. What a loser, man. Well, at least I know I didn't forget to lock it, and he just rode it out of here. He had to work for it. That motherfucker really, really wanted that thing, man, because it must be a football field to just get that thing out of here because it's a gated community. And, um, of course, the gate for the exit is broke and it's stuck open and that's why he was able to just drag it out of there but that tells me because there's an apartment complex right outside of this community i bet that motherfucker lives in there i bet that's where my bike is somewhere in that fucking apartment complex right over there because there's no way he's going to drag it further than that because it's a quarter mile down the street before you get past the apartment complex so i'm pretty sure the bike's in the area still and uh if if, if he doesn't part it out and he starts riding that thing around i'm gonna see him i'm gonna get my bike back because you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking grab the bike and and tell him to he better get the hell out of there or he's gonna go to jail or you know he's gonna get hurt there will be a fight because I will fight for my bike. I don't care if nine-tenths of the law is possession. I got proof it's my bike. I built it. It's one of a kind. I got proof. He, he's going to be toast if I catch him on it. That's if I can catch up to him. Because the bike's freaking fast, man. The bike does 50 miles an hour, okay? He probably saw me, you know, coming in. He's probably been scoping it out for a while. Because he probably saw me zooming in on it, and then he got all jealous. So you know, he's one of them fucking kind of people that, you know, wants to take what he sees other people have. And so you know, he thinks he could just take it. Well, he did. He just took it. But, you know, he had to work for it. He had to drag it. And then he has to cut the lock off. Maybe, And then, you know, possibly he screwed up the back wheel dragging it that much and probably broke a spoke maybe. I don't know because... It was live, man. All you had to do is hit the throttle, and that back wheel's going to go. So if he did that, he probably broke a spoke, man. And hopefully he did because I don't want I want him to not be able to ride it. I don't care. I think they're going to crack down on e-bikes soon anyways because there's so many young, spoiled brats terrorizing neighborhoods on their e-bikes, you know, doing wheelies, riding all over the place, and cutting people off hell my blood brother um his wife uh got hit by some punk 
on an e-bike and and like cut her hand open and i and it, it actually got infected and she got sepsis and she she died from it from getting hit by an e-bike from some punk kid and uh you know i always see them running riding around terrorizing neighborhoods on their e-bikes these young kids you know they're they're, they got rich parents, and they, their parents buy them these expensive e-bikes that go real fast, and they just terrorize neighborhoods on them. I've been seeing it more and more, and the cops are going to crack down. So, I don't know, maybe the e-bike era is coming to an end, or you're just going to have to register it like a vehicle. You know, they're going to have, they're going to start calling them vessels. You have to start paying insurance on them, registration, all that crap, safety inspections, It'll, you know, they're good. I'm sure the government will find a way to crack down on it and make money. Can't have nothing these days, you know. Can't. Shit. All these developers around, man, developing up all the land, getting rid of all the neat things like racetracks and stuff. Kid, people don't have places to go to, you know, race their cars. So they do it on streets. Cause, you know, fatal accidents and shit. Can't have nothing. Like I said in my other video, this planet's becoming less desirable to live on by the day. And it's all because of freaking money. Money is the root of all evil, man. It's going to be the, the demise of our society, man. Really. Uh, stupid money. The the, um, the the industrial revolution is a fail. It's a big fail. There's only so much the planet can support, and it's not going to be the industrial revolution. Okay, evolution. It's just not sustainable in the long run. I mean, we're getting there already, where the planet's t tapped out, man. You know, trying to support. A lot of people and half the people on the planet aren't even worth supporting. They're fucking losers. They don't do nothing to, to help. Not, they don't even help themselves. Maybe not half, but God, there's a lot of people just sucking air on this planet and not helping with nothing. Taking up value re, valuable resources and not producing any kind of benefit for anything. Take, 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 take. It's all they do. Some of these losers on this planet. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Take, take, take. They don't produce. Then they, they don't only, they don't only not produce. They're actually taking from the people that are working and, and trying to help out the society. You know they're like they're like leeches, they're sponges. And some of them don't think twice about it. They 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 like the fact that people have to support them, and because the government makes takes our money and gives it to them, they like that. They they snark at it. Ha <laughs> ha. You have to support me, fucker. You got to get up and go to work every day. And I'll just get lay around and take. And, and you guys just go work. And I won't have to. I'll just do drugs all day. On your dime. There's that's there's a lot of people like that on this planet. And, then they, and on top of that, they'll go steal and take people's shit that they worked hard for. Okay? There's just, there's just nasty scummy people on this planet that's why the people start they need to start vetting people man you know who are you what are you doing here what are you doing on this planet oh really okay well how about this <laughs> lock your ass up unless you decide to help out or how about no help for you unless you try you know Get get them mental help because it's a sickness, it's a it's a mental disorder. Okay, and there's no help for you know there's there's not enough help for people with mental disorder. They can be fixed. It's just it's always about money. 
it costs money to hire the doctor to fix these people. Nobody wants, to, nobody wants to pay. Nobody wants to flip the bill for these people. And half the people don't want the help because they like being scumbags. They like that. They're just, they're just scummy, nasty people on the planet. A lot. Getting to be more and more every day, especially with all the drugs coming into this country from south of the border. And there's a lot of scummy people coming into this country illegally, okay? And there's a lot of people, homegrown scummy here in the country that were born here. Just as many. I know it's survival, man. I, you know, we have to survive. We have to survive. That's, that's our job, to survive on this planet. You know, once you're 18, you're on your own, man. At least in America. And you got to do what you got to do. But some people choose to do, you know, the bad way. They don't want to choose to help themselves the right way by getting a job and handling your business responsibly, you know. They'd rather just go take it from people, you know. Cause, cause hardship for honest, hardworking people. That's not me. I, I don't do that. I'm, you know... I like to create happiness, not sorrow for people. I think people that cause sorrow for other people by taking their shit and causing them pain, it needs to go back to them because, you know, that's got to be a uh, karma has got to happen to those people so they can learn. Sometimes they just don't learn, though, either. It's just they're just fucking they're lost. A lot of them. Can't fix them sometimes. It's just too too deeply embedded in their in their the way they are. You know, they just they're just bad people. I don't know. I have sometimes a very pessimistic outlook on on our society, just because I you know I've seen a lot of crap seen a lot of bad people it's almost like 50 50 <laughs> good people and bad people I like being on the right of good because that's what it's supposed to be that's why the creator whatever that is is created us to be good not bad I honestly think evil derives from pain that's where I think it comes from. Evil came from pain. Evil ways. And good is good is good because when you're a baby, you don't see babies being evil. All babies are born good, okay? You become evil. You become evil through pain. That's my theory. But all of us were born good, happy humans. And whatever environment that you are in when you're a baby is what you become eventually. And it doesn't have to be just your environment. It could be what you see in your environment through like a monitor, like a TV or a computer, that can corrupt a, a, a child, okay, and make them into a bad person. Or a good person. It just depends on what you're exposed to, you know, or the people that you're around. But I'm ranting a little bit here. I just wanted, I just wanted to get that off my chest because it, it was kind of shocking to me that that scumbag dragged my bike all the way out of here, all the way down the street. 
that that wasn't easy i'll bet that had to be a pain and the balls to do that is this just ridiculous man god man i guess if they're gonna get your bike they're gonna get it so one way or another even if they have to cut the lock you know what i mean like you know but someone that stupid that's that's willing to take that much risk he's going to get caught someday doing something like that he's going to get caught he's going to end up in jail where it's where he should be fucking loser but anyways uh, i gotta start getting ready for work i was up a little early today i uh i'm one under i just i just got tired last night after two beers and i just went to bed there's nothing happening on YouTube, so I called it, called it a wrap. Um, I'm feeling a push to start getting, getting back to the gym. Um, let's see, next Sunday is probably when I'll start because um, there's a guy at work, a, a really cool guy. He's like my age, and um, he's recently lost a bunch of weight. And uh, he wants to start working out, so I'm going to train him, show him how to do it, and maybe I'll start just working out with him because he's probably about the same as me, strength-wise. So that that might be when I start. We'll see. But uh, I'm I'm happy I'm one under, and I'm happy I got 233 days no boost, and I do appreciate your all all your support out there and listening to my rant my opinions and uh have a great day okay we'll catch you later see ya